All right, what's up guys? So we are back again here sa Facebook Live no. So kanina nakita natin yung 2022 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross SE which I would uh, now say is uh, sold sa ating kliyente. He decided na you know what? He wanted to go for it. So congratulations kuya. Um the same yung brand yung SUV. So this time naman we're going to do a Facebook Live video um, because meron tayong isang kliyente na naaprubahan ko na siya and he is just deciding kung anong unit ang gusto niya. So, I have these two units here, very similar in color and features. Price point wise, mas mahal yung Honda by a good $5,000. Okay? But, if you're looking at the bi-weekly payments, the difference between the two is around $33. So, if you, kayo guys watching, as the consumer between these two vehicles, anong pipiliin nyo if the difference is only $33 bi-weekly? What we have here side by side guys is a 2018 Honda CRV Touring, so pinaka top trim level ng Honda with less than 20,000 kilometers and on right beside it naman is a 2020 uh, Nissan Rogue SV technology package with less than 10,000 kilometers on it, right? So very similar vehicles, right? 5-seater na mga SUV, flagship na mga SUV, right? Alam niyo naman, Honda CRV, Nissan, Rogue. The Rogue recently went through a redesign, as you guys saw, yung video ko about a month ago. Now, between these two, ano sa dalawa ang pipiliin ninyo? Let's help our client decide kung anong pipiliin niya sa kanilang dalawa. So we're gonna do a quick walk around on the Rogue, we're gonna do a quick walk around on the CRV. Maybe you guys are in the same position. Maybe you're looking between different brands, right? And you want some some opinions from me kung alin mas maganda i-consider right so i'm gonna give some pros and cons between both units and um, hopefully again let's decide uh, let's help our customer decide kung anong pipiliin niya so let's start with the younger vehicle which is a 2020 nissan rogue sv right here So as you can see, this is the older body style ng Rogue. Have you guys have seen yung redesign ng 2021? Looks very different. Engine is different. Transmission is different. This is the outgoing model. This one here, less than 10,000 kilometers. This is the SV technology package, right? So it's actually, a, I think, right, has a lot of great value features, no, for the price point. And I'll show you what I mean. So first and foremost, you're gonna look here at the front. You got the LED daytime running lights, you got some nice chrome trim, you got fog lamps as well. Got some nice alloy wheels. Um, yan siya. If you look here as well, ito yung kanyang turn signal lights. And one thing you're gonna notice, no, it does have this. No, you might be wondering what this is. This is for the 360 degree camera na meron yung sasakyan na ito. Okay? So, yan siya. Here in the side profile, as you can see. Again, pang sabi ko nga, the older body style ng Nissan Rogue. You got the chrome trim, chrome handles. So, ito yung likuran niya. So, SV, all-wheel drive, Rogue. Yan yung likod. So, let's start dito sa likuran. As you guys can see, there's one, two, three, four backup sensors, right? Sa likuran, as well as the backup camera. Now, what is the main thing na meron tong sa kanila to? Na wala yung isa. The previous owner has an extra set of tires with the vehicle. So, nung trinade niya yung sakyan, sinama niya tong extra set ng tires. Na hindi niya kailangan. And if you have noticed, no, this is a power lift gate. So, normally you don't have these features on the SV trim, but since this is technology package, mas mahal siya initially nung binili. So, it has a power lift gate, which normally you won't find on the SV. So, for me, this is a good, um, a good value point. No? Again, pang sabi ko nga, if you guys get accessories or get options na hindi mo kailangan bayaran ng extra, definitely worth considering. So, in this case here, it has an extra set of tires and rims. Tires and rims natin, let me see. Yeah, steel rims. I believe these are winter tires. Winter tires on steel rims, you got a set full set kung bibili mo yung sakya na to. So right off the bat, great value point for the Rogue, right? So power lift gate, sabihin natin siya ulit. Now let's go on to the middle row naman, passenger side. Hindi ko siya mapakita na maigi, right? Because na yung mga gulong. But, this vehicle here, 
has the rubber mats. So again, another uh, item that you don't need to pay. So there's a lot of value in this vehicle. No, I believe the backstory of this is that it was built for an HRV, right? So for I guess for a smaller vehicle, the Honda. Now here's another cool feature that it has. It has the panoramic sunroof. So normally to get a panoramic sunroof, you have to jump up to most of the time the higher trim levels ng asakyan. On the SV technology package, may kasama na siyang panoramic sunroof. Again, this is an extra na the previous owner paid for. Na ngayon, kung sino man ang mayiging bagong may-ari nito, ang magbe-benefit. Kalahin mo yun, no? there's a lot of value in this vehicle here. Okay? On the driver's side. It's got power driver seats. Also, a nice set of uh, Nissan uh, rubber mats. Again, gaya nga nang sabi ko, Nissan, like Toyota and Subaru, extra charge yung mga rubber mats. So, usually mga 200 yung set na yan, mahigit. And it also has a blind spot monitor dito. Okay, so, pasok tayo sa loob. So, take a look at the kilometers, guys. 5,000 kilometers. Like, I don't know yung backstory ng buo. Um... But it's really rare na i-trade in ng isang asakyan ng ganyang kababa ang kilometers. And I don't know why trade in nila uh, for an HRV, a smaller vehicle. No? Um, maybe they were upset sa previous na deal nila. I've seen that happen before. I can't talk for this one. So another great value point na I want to point out for this one here is it is a push-button start and it has a built-in remote starter. Now, is this the most reliable um, remote starter? History will tell me, sa mga previous clients ko, ito yung isa sa mga pinakabagay na nireklamo nila. Yung remote starter ng Nissan. Um, I've had a customer before na meron siyang Nissan Murano, binili niya sa akin. They had to go back sa Nissan para i-reprogram yung starter. So again, but for the sake of mentioning, for the sake of saying na value, it does have a built-in remote starter. If you have noticed as well, it has GPS navigation because it is the SV technology package. Again, to get the navigation, you often have to jump up to the higher trim levels. So, for example, on the Honda CRVs, the only time na merong navigation ng asakyan is if you go for the Touring, which has the GPS. I believe the EXL. Uh, no, I don't think may GPS ng EXL. Eh. But yeah, so this one has a navigation. It has the backup camera and backup sensors yun narinig yung yan that's the sensors responding so as you can see there yung sonar and it has the 360 degree view ng camera tanggalin ko na siya kasi maingay yan on the steering wheel here you got some adaptive cruise control okay and one great feature as well guys it has the heated steering wheel to all-wheel drive lock, sport mode, and eco mode as well. Let's check yung makina niya. Tignan natin ang makina. So, malinis ang makina. 2.5 liter, 4-cylinder engine on this one here. Regular aspirated engine, so hindi siya turbocharged. And as you can see, the windshield it has the safety technology there as well for the adaptive cruise control and all that stuff. So that's option one. Okay, option one is a 2020. Oops, sorry. 2020 Nissan Rogue SV technology package with the winter mats. Na so it's $200, so you don't have to pay for. It's got an extra set of winter tires and rims, which normally that would be easily. Easily be around seven hundred to a thousand dollars plus, right? Panoramic sunroof, GPS navigation, wala lang siyang leather sa loob, built-in remote starter. Price point wise, guys, this one here is twenty nine thousand nine hundred ninety, less than thirty thousand. Yung asakyan, and you get all of those features, and yun nga very low kilometers, five thousand plus kilometers. So if anybody there is interested in this vehicle, let me know. Now move on tayo dun sa option two, okay? Option two natin is this one here. This one here, guys, is a 2018 Honda CRV Touring. So if you notice right off the bat, itong color na ito, itong shade na ganito, na red slash orangey slash bronze, I don't know how to exactly call it, um, we don't have this color anymore. 
So parang out of print na siya. Yung normal color na lang namin ngayon is obviously yung red, blue, right? Yung kulay cemento na parang yung demo ko. This color here out of print na. So for some people that adds an extra level of value kasi alam nila yung asakyan nila on the road will be unique. Kasi you're not gonna find a lot of people driving a CRV na ganito yung kulay. Okay? So looking here. So very similar dun sa Rogue natin, no? This one has the LED daytime running lights. It's got fog lamps as well. Uh, meron siyang black heater na rin. Okay. It's got the Honda technology, safety, safety technology natin. Nandiyan sa mountain, mountain sa windshield. Let's do a quick walk around naman ng asakyan na to. So you got the nice alloy rims. Okay. All season tires. These I believe are 19 inches. Sorry, 18. 18 inch alloy rims. Okay. Got a nice chrome trim. Now again, speaking of accessories guys, previous owner for this one here. Window visors. Gaya ng sabi ko sa previous video ko. This a set of these guys. Yung window visors, labor, tsaka parts. Nasa mga $400 na. So that's $400 na you don't have to spend kasi meron na yung asakyan. Okay. So going around this vehicle. So you can see malinis yung katawan niya. Ito naman yung dekoran niya. So all wheel drive. Touring, top, line, top trim level. CRV, turbo. So overall malinis ang katawan, di ba? So, let's start sa likuran. Since it is a touring trim level, this one has the backup camera and it has the power lift gate as well. So power lift gate, ayan yung space niya sa likuran, guys. It has a tonal cover as well there. Ayan yung space niya. Let's check if to see if yung kanyang spare tire nandito. It is, parts are still there 60-40 split For the back seat there Just like almost all SUVs nowadays Parang ang nabanggit ko Tono cover, meron din siyang kasama Okay So you do have this lever here You pull that, that will fold the seats down Kung nakita nyo So I'll pull this one here You're gonna see It's gonna fold that seat down Hindi na siya fold kasi yung seat belt Kasi so you can see it's going down so I believe na, na mention ko yan before. Nung di ko matandaan ko nung sa Kenya binenta ko noon eh. But it has the push button here. Yung Infinity. Push button dito magfo-fold yung ano, yung upuan. So it does have that functionality. So again, our lift gate. So the only thing na dagdag sa 2019 saka 2020, 2020, I believe 2020 na model is yung ano, yung uh, yung parang pwede mo siyang i-power Yung power lift gate na pwede mong sipain sa ilalim Pasag bubukas Parang yung sa Ford dati But if you notice no Yung katawan niya Looks almost exactly the same As sa 2019-2020 Yung color lang ang magdi-distinguish Na alam mong ibang year siya But again, you have to be like a Honda expert Para ma-determine mo yun Or Honda fan, right? Say for example guys Ito, 2020 model Itong kulay puti Diba? Almost kamukha rin niya yung 2018 na touring dito so let's go naman sa middle seat which finold natin so on this one here since it is a touring trim level you do have the perforated leather right? yung leather na may butas butas perforated ang tawag dyan so you do get the leather seats you have two charging ports here sa likuran get a nice wood grain trim dito and you do have heated seats for the rear passenger. So heated seats din yung rear passenger. And again, that's only for the right and the left. Yung sa gitna. Sorry ka na lang, wala kang heated seats. Going on the driver's side. One thing I want to point out. It has the blind spot monitor. So on the, on the other CRVs po kasi, on the lower trim levels ng CRV. Um, EX, EXL, tsaka yung Sport. Wala silang blind spot monitor. They have the Honda Lane Watch. Yung camera sa one side Nung side mirror on the right side So since touring ito, it has the full Blind spot monitor So yan yung interior niya So you get the power Seats for the driver With the lumbar support Programmable driver seats Again with the wood grain trim sa loob You got your lane departure warning, right? 
Yung pre ko yung, ano, yung Honda Collision Mitigation Braking System Power lift gate and all that stuff Going inside the vehicle On the 2019-2020 models The Touring has the wireless charging Sa so 2018 wala pa siya So you do get the power outlet still though okay? And you get more USB ports over here As you can see there Again with the wood grain trim And your glove box So unfortunately for this one The previous owner did not include Yung rubber mats Just the carpet mats So yan naman siya So we put it on reverse Ayan yung backup camera natin And since this is a touring trim level It has the GPS navigation as well So yan yung GPS navigation niya Push button start Which means again guys as you know Push button start sa Honda Means built in remote starter so, my built-in remote starter po ang asakyan na ito. The range on the Honda One is a bit better kumpara dun sa Nissan based on personal opinion ko. Again, I have to mention those things, di ba? You have the heated steering wheel then as well. You have your adaptive cruise control. You got your other Bluetooth controls here. Now, if you notice, 2018 CRV Touring, um, besides... The fact na malinis ang katawan niya, malinis ang Carfax for both vehicles. If you notice, kilometer-wise, mababa rin. Wala pang 20,000 kilometers for a technically 2018 to 19, 3-year-old vehicle. So it's very low mileage. So that's one of the main selling points na meron yung asakyan. And I also gotta mention this. Um, the previous owner did not take this off. I believe this is a dash cam. So may dash cam dito. I have to double check because normally pag mga gayatong klaseng bagay na electrical, tinatanggal namin to kasi it might affect yung warranty ng asakyan. So in this case here, I'm not sure if this was actually installed at the dealership but from the way that it looks to me, this is a dash cam and iniwan siya ng previous owner. So whoever will buy the CRV will have that dash cam. I don't know how to actually use this kasi parang kulang yung kanyang wiring. This, I believe, would give it power. As to where she's sasaksak, I'm not too sure. I don't see an aux input anywhere. I do see... Yeah, I have to do more research as to how to actually power this. I see a USB port here, no? There's a USB cord here. So, makina-wise, let's take a look naman sa makina. So, yan ang makina niya. 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. Now, let's go over the pros and cons ng bawat option. Okay? So, I'm not sure if nakanonood ang ating kliyente ngayon. Pero at least kung mapanood niya to later, at least meron siya pag-iisipan. So, keep in mind guys, I'm doing all this because approved na yung kliyente. He's just deciding kung alin sa kanila ang kukunin niya. Right? I see some good comments here sa Facebook Live. So if you have any comments, guys, itype nyo lang. I'm gonna check out your comments dito. So, pros and cons. Ang main pro ng 2020 Nissan uh, Rogue. I like the fact na meron siyang kasamang winter tires, right? Hindi ko na kinakilangan gumastos ng extra para bumili ng winter tires. And on the rims na yun, on steel rims na yun. Diba? I also like the fact na it's... Very, very low sa kilometers, no? 5,000 kilometers lang ang tinakbo ng Nissan Rogue, right? And I like yung price point niya, the less than $30,000. Meron kang 2020 vehicle, very low mileage, extra set of winter tires, all the other accessories. However, I do want to point something out, right? The 2018 CRV Touring, despite the fact na it is technically 3 years old, is still more expensive kumpara sa Nissan Rogue. What does that mean? That means Honda, like Toyota, like Subaru, has something na wala ang Nissan. And that is called brand equity. Okay? What brand equity is, kaya na minention ko sa inyo guys, right? In the marketplace, the marketplace dictates kung impression mga sakyan. Hindi dealerships. In the marketplace, in the free market, in the eyes of the North American consumer, mas may value ang Honda kumpara sa Nissan Rogue. Here's the thing. If you were to buy this 2020 Nissan Rogue, 
and wala silang promo, wala silang rebates at the time. For the technology package, for the panoramic sunroof, for all the extras, the person who bought this probably spent close to around thirty-five to forty, forty-five thousand dollars. Sipin mo yun. Twenty twenty, binili mo yun ng brand new, ah, twenty twenty. You probably spent forty-five thousand dollars, including tax, with all the extras na nilagay mo. Wala pang isang taon, trinade in mo na. Ang retail value niya, twenty-nine na lang. Yung CRV Touring Dahil nakabenta na tayo ng Touring A 2021 CRV Touring Nasa mga 45,000 This one here, 3 years old And it's still at 34,000, $35,000 So what does that tell you? Right? You guys come up with your own conclusions Based on what I say sa video Kasi baka ako sana naman tayo na naninira eh. I'm just giving you facts Right? Facts na relevant sa industry natin The 2018 CRV Touring is the fully loaded top trim level ng Honda. It looks very almost exactly similar to the 2019 and 2020 models, right? It is more expensive than the Nissan Rogue. That's because that vehicle has more brand equity. So the North American consumer knows between these two vehicles, they are more willing to spend money on a Honda than they are willing to spend money on a used Nissan kahit na ang dami ng extras nung Nissan so something for you guys to think about when you're doing your shopping right at the end of the day it's it's technically it's your money right how far that money goes how much value you put into your vehicles into your decision is totally up to you um, I have a lot of followers and viewers na masyadong emotional sa car buying right Basta brand new, basta ganito, urong lang, sige lang, tuloy lang. Hindi iniisip yung mga 5 years down the road, 10 years down the road. Basta maporma, bibilihin na. Right? And then I also have consumers, I also have followers and viewers na medyo meticulous sa data. Right? They look at the possible trade values. They look at 5 years down the road, magkakapamilya ba sila? Will they need to trade in for a bigger vehicle? Will they be able to keep their current vehicle and all that stuff? So, yun ang main pros and cons natin. Pros naman ng CRV. Very low kilometers for a three-year-old vehicle, right? Less than twenty thousand kilometers. Ibig sabihin, whoever was the previous owner, very very gently used yung CRV. Okay, accessory-wise, not much. Features and options-wise, not much. Kompara dito sa Nissan Rogue. The one thing na meron yung CRV na yun do is it has certified used Honda status. So certified used means yung kanya powertrain warranty will go up. By another two more years, no, sorry, 2017 yung na benta natin sa araw, 2017 na extension na 2024. Yeah, so this one here would probably have the powertrain warranty. The Honda ha will have a powertrain warranty up until 2025. So you have another four more years of extend of of powertrain warranty. So powertrain guys is yung engine, transmission, and yung drivetrain ng asakyan, right? So again. Both vehicles have their own pros and cons. If you're a shopper who's looking purely at the price point wise, right? Shempre, you would go with the cheaper vehicle, which is the Nissan Rogue. It is five thousand dollars cheaper, so meaning mas babari ng biweekly payments mo. If you're thinking more of brand equity, if you're thinking more longevity, right? Nang sasakyan. Alam naman natin Toyota and Honda. There's a reason why they're number one, number two sa ating community because of their reliability and low cost of ownership. So that's what the CRV has going for it, right? On the Nissan Rogue, naman, right? As you guys saw last month, I did a video on the redesigned version. So the redesigned version has the same platform as the Mitsubishi Outlander. And iba na rin yung makina niya, iba na yung transmission niya. So this is like the outgoing generation. While the CRV, we are not due for a redesign, unfortunately, until for probably another year or two. So with that being said, let's take one last go around sa sakyan no. So para makita niyo lang yung kanilang side by side. Front and back. So one of these vehicles will be available once makapidi na yung kliente natin, kawalin ng kukuwini niya. So if you are interested in any of what those units will be, 
just message me po let's get you approved for the loan and let's get you driving so guys here's my short video comparison for my client again comparing the 2018 Honda CRV Touring with 19,000 plus kilometers versus the 2020 Nissan Rogue SV technology package with around 5,000 kilometers. If you're interested in any or either or vehicle, message nyo lang po ako. And um, if for our client, kung nanonood siya ngayon, I hope na gusto mo video. I hope we can help you make up your mind kung anong sakyan ang kukunin mo. Thanks guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll talk to you guys again later.